Good morning, it's Thursday, October 3rd, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Unbroken, and our scripture is Lamentations, chapter 3. The thought of my suffering and homelessness is bitter beyond words. I will never forget this awful time as I grieve over my loss. Yet, I still dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercy never ceases. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh every morning. I say to myself, The Lord is my inheritance, therefore I will hope in Him. The Lord is good to those who depend on Him, to those who search for Him. So, it is good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord. Jeremiah Fierce, sword-wielding prophet is the author of Lamentations. He's the one we find wallowing in his suffering and homelessness, grieving over his loss. Jeremiah's homelessness, however, is not what we'd picture in our time, sleeping on park benches, begging on street corners, tents in the woods, or nights huddled in an old abandoned car. Jeremiah was in prison. His home and the entire nation was occupied by the enemy. His was a broken nation. His conclusion that it's good to wait quietly for salvation from the Lord was not a spiritual high ground. Jeremiah had no choice. Suffering and what you do with it have filled libraries of books for generations. Ever since Job's loss of his family, wealth, friends, and place in the community, coupled with the boils that covered his body in torment, Humankind has searched for the why of suffering and the what of how to deal with it. My friend Bert Cavalletto learned to deal with Jeremiah and Job's suffering. Bert was a pilot in World War II who spent a long time in a prison camp. Among a myriad of coping skills developed to ward off despair, Bert constructed a model ship which he completed while hiding it from his captors. I saw the ship just before Bert died in 2014. There was such painstaking detail. Each plank of the deck, turnbuckle, stanchion, battens were either carved or fashioned with tools that would have been seen as weapons by the guards. While it was a diversion from the reality of being a prisoner, this ship was also Bert's sanity project and the expression of genuine hope in salvation. Like Jeremiah, who purchased a piece of property while in prison against the day when he might be released to a freed homeland, something which he never got to see, however, Bert's ship represented the freedom one experiences on open seas. It was his statement of hope. It was his unbroken spirit claiming the promise of God that he was not forgotten. I've come to understand that unforgotten and unbroken go together. They belong and hold to one another like night frames day and young meets old. They are as integral to understanding God's love as breathing is to staying alive in a prison camp, whether it's a military prison or the prison of our thoughts and unrequited dreams. From the mouth of Jesus, by the way of John the Revelator, we hear the words of our Creator's promise that suffering faithfully leads to the strength that only brokenness brings, a crown of life to wear after a dying world passes away. Revelation chapter 2. Don't be afraid of what you are about to suffer. The devil will throw some of you into prison to test you. You will suffer for ten days. But if you remain faithful, even when facing death, I will give you the crown of life. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. Whoever is victorious will not be harmed by the second death. For you today. How else can you genuinely face and overcome the brokenness, emptiness, hurt, and crushing blows of lost hope? except to trust that God has not lied. This was the experience of the Apostle Paul and my friend Bert. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. 
Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. This is what it means to be battered and yet unbroken. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.